Hello, new time for Africa students. Hello, 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 hello. It's a very good, it's such a pleasure to have all of you, to have all of you in our project. You know what? Today is the second week. We are on the second week of our process. And that's really good because you overcome yourself. Listen, every time you're going through a process, you have to understand that at the end, you'll get the most valuable thing. You'll get a new changed personality and that's your personality and if you really understand the last week lesson you will understand and you will you already know that values that's the only foundation that will change your life listen you cannot rely on the education even you cannot rely on your relatives you cannot rely on money you cannot rely on your connections or your friends listen you cannot rely on anything on circumstances or the chance listen the only thing that you can rely on that's your value system the value system will exalt you your value system will change your life and our today's lesson or this week lesson is how to become a person of values how because you already know about values but now the that's the actual logical question how to become the person of values so today I will share you the secret, the secret that is known by very few people. That's the secret actually that made, that produced and helped so many successful people. You may probably, you, you, you probably heard of them. One of them is Jesus Christ. Do you know that Jesus Christ, he is counted as the most successful person in the whole world. So that principle, the principle that I will share with you today, that's the principle that made Jesus Christ, you know, who he was and who he is. So the, the name of that principle is how to become the person of values is spiritual minimum. Your spiritual minimum. The spiritual minimum, that's something that will make you the true person of values. And so welcome to our today's lesson. And this lesson will help you to understand how to become person of values. So how to become person of values, spiritual minimum. Let's go forth. Number one, to become a person of values or your spiritual minimum is you must have relationship, life trustful, open, you know, full of assistance and critics, self-critics, relationship with God. Without this kind of relationship, listen, the God himself cannot change you. So that is why, you know, God, when he said that he's going to send his Holy Spirit, you know, it means he will send you the one who will teach you, who will guide you and direct you. So that is why you need to have relationship with God. So every single day, don't do it as a religion or don't allow vanity of life or vanity of your, you know, business of life of day. Don't allow you to steal this precious time of having personal relationship with God, because in this these moments, in the moments of your personal relationship with God, your secret room, God himself, he's going to direct and guide your life. So number one, have your prayer time with God. Set up a certain time every morning or every evening, it doesn't matter, during the day, set up at least 30 minutes up to one hour when you will talk with God. Don't just pray as a prayer machine, like, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. But pray and meditate at the moment. Meditate on and listen to what God is telling you, what he, where He's guiding you and directing you. That's number one. Number two, you must have the time of meditation on the Word of God. Psalm 119 verse 99 says that by meditating on your Word, I became wiser than all of my teachers. All of my mentors, that's what, you know, actually that principle made King David, uh, you know, the one that, you know, the, the, the King David that we know today. So it changed his whole life from being, you know, from being just a shepherd into the king that changed his whole life. So meditate on the word of God. Meditate. Ask yourself question. For, you know, whenever you read one verse from the Bible, ask yourself question. What, what's the new thing that God wants to reveal to me? What is that that God wants to correct in me or change in me? Or what's the new thing that God is showing me about life? Or what life principle can be taken out of that verse? Think like these whenever you read the Word of God. And then also, you must have your time of fasting. Time of fasting. At least once a week, one day a week, you have to fast. 
fast and think, fast and think. So whenever you fast, don't just, you know, spend your day without food or without eating. No, 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 no. That's the time or that's the day when you humble yourself and you don't want to present yourself, but you want God to teach you where to go. That's principle number three. And number four is to have personal prayer retreat in a secret place for three days a month. At least three days a month, lock yourself somewhere without food, without water. Try, at least try. You may, you may drink water or you can have food, but at least try to, you know, try to lock yourself from everything, from the business of life. Listen, all the greatest people in the history, they had this, you know, secret time with themselves when they were, when they were one-on-one with themselves and one-on-one with God. So please do these things. Even Jesus Christ, in a, you know, he was going to, you know, he was attending those solitary places. After, the, after he, he has done with all of his business, all of his ministration, he was going to those solitary places to spend time one-on-one with himself and one-on-one with God. So these four simple steps, they will help you. I call them spiritual minimum. These four simple steps, number one, relationship with God. Number two, meditating on the word of God. Number three, fasting at least one, one day a week. And number four, having three days of solitary place, your you know, personal retreat with God. Uh, you know, uh, three days a month. These four simple steps, they will help you. But right now, I will also tell you how to practically work on yourself to become personal values. So stay with us. So welcome again. How to become, how to practice, what are the practical advices or practical things, practical sites, how you can become personal values. So number one, it's very simple. You know, God has created a very unique tool for us, Google search. So, number one, to understand, to understand about values, to read about these values, before you go to your solitary place or before you meditate on it, go to Google and make research on that value. For example, if we talk about diligence, you need to make a research on what diligence is, how to develop diligence, what are the examples, you know, live examples, who are those people who could be taken as a role model or as an example, life example of diligence. Make study on Google, you know, prepare, you know, print out those materials or download them, save them on your laptop or, you know, uh, 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 you know, iPad, have them, have them. And as you go to a solitary place, go with those materials because they will help you to understand. But then after you made the research, also, what you need to do, you need to make an analysis, analysis of yourself, you know, be critical, be critical to yourself, be critical to your, you know, today's value system. And after that research is done, analyze yourself, analyze yourself and be critical. Are you compare? are you matching to that values? Are you like those people? Or there is something that you lack in your life in the, in the area of that value. Be critical to yourself. That's number two. Practical advice. Practical advice number three. Also, meditate on yourself. Imagine, you know, plug in your imagination and think, imagine, pretend what your life could be or how you should live or act if you become a person of that value, a person that is possessed by that value. Think like that. Think about it. Okay. And the last thing, the last thing is write down, write down create, you know, form the lifestyle of a person that is possessed by that value. Write down what your life should be. Write down new schedule. Write down new understanding of life. Write down a new concept of life of the person who is possessed by that value. For example, it could be once again diligence or integrity or dignity. It doesn't matter. Any life value could be changed. Any life value could be changed. By the way, next lesson, next week, I'm going to present you the self-improvement system. How you can create this. I will, I will give you the system. How you can change yourself on a daily basis. And on a weekly basis, you can change your whole life. So in one year, you can change ten, at least 10 values of your life. Do you want to have that? So stay with us with the new time for Africa. By the way, what kind of benefits will new value system will give you? Number one, when you work like these, if you have the spiritual minimum, first of all, you'll be always motivated. Trust me, all of us, we know that we need motivation for life. We need motivation. So you'll be always motivated because when you talk to the creator of you, creator of your life, you will be motivated. You'll get motivated. Number one. Number two, you'll be changed. 
your life will be changed and you will be changed and trust me that's the very precious thing for you and your life to be changed and thing number three you become a role model for new people you might not know you might not notice but there are many people who are observing after you and after your life they're chasing after you without you without without you knowing or noticing that they watch after you so you can become a role model even without knowing that so these are three major benefits you can get after this lesson or after you will work on yourself and you'll do it so your home assignment is remains the same write down 10 new values 10 values that will change your life forever 10 life values that will change your destiny that will leave you from your today from your present into your future and to your destiny write down those 10 values because next week we will use these assignment and we will work well, we will work on ourselves so welcome to new time for africa and by the way i have a new lesson i have a new mm, new advice new practical tool for you do you really want to have do you really want to keep everything that you've heard this week share with five of your friends it doesn't matter what they will tell you you don't share for them you share for yourself because whenever you share with someone the first person and the only person who is getting the benefit of it that's you so welcome to new time for africa project welcome to your new life we'll see you next week